Follow me. The Shroud Man is nearly six foot tall, although he has his legs bent, like he froze in that position as he had on the cross. The man is revealed to be Jewish Nazarene, typically like the old photographs we have of Nazarenes in the late 19th century and early 20th century. When Mary ran back from the tomb to say to the disciples they had taken the body, John and Peter went to the tomb. John disregarded Mary's claim and saw and believed in the resurrection besides the others. It appears it was something to do with the linen cloths that Jesus was wrapped up in, one being the Shroud of Turin and the other the head cloth, the Sudarium of Oviedo that's a forensic link to the Shroud. The miraculous image of the burial shroud has puzzled scientists since they first went to study it and in 1981 came to the conclusion that it was a real man and no artist made it. It was devoid of any pigments or artist mediums normally used. It was more like a molecular image, a surface phenomena that couldn't be explained. Recently, they tested the flax of the cloth to show the flax used for it was from near Jordan and Syria, not far from Jerusalem probably in a place called Arimathea, where a rich man, Joseph, was from, and he probably purchased the cloth for his own burial. He could afford a cloth 14 feet to cover the whole body. Both cloths, the sudarium and the shroud, are covered in myrrh and aloes. They also have limestone dirt from Jerusalem on them. The same blood of the man is on both cloths, and match up by enough congruence points to state they covered the same man at one point. The shroud has recently been in the headlines as a reliable X-ray scattering method that has dated fabrics of known ages from the first century and up to medieval times was used on the shroud. It was almost identical in degradation to fabrics found in Masada first century and completely unlike medieval fabrics, and so they concluded the shroud is 2,000 years old. Four other not-so-well-known dating methods also collaborate with this date and suggest the shroud dates back to the time of Christ. If that's not enough, a recent blood analysis showed that the man had shown trauma that would be expected from crucifixion. Notably, they discovered particles around the blood that is indicative of a man that had absorbed high-intensity nuclear radiation. This deepens the mystery, as we are told Christ resurrected, and so it's suggested either a natural phenomenon or supernatural phenomenon caused the image. You decide.